looking for a job in this economy can be an intimidating task for anyone. But when you've been out of the workforce for years, it can be even more daunting. As Wisconsin works through the recession, Shelly Botan introduces us to one stay-at-home mom who, like many moms, are getting ready to go back to work. The Wegeman family enjoys a good game of life. I want the one that says... You got a job. For real, three years ago, Jennifer left her job to become a stay-at-home mom. My children are only going to be young, you know, for once in their life, and I really wanted to make sure that I was a part of that. She's manager of the household and running, you know, the kids' schedule and taking care of, you know, everything that has to be done around here. But with today's economy, Jennifer wants to re-enter the workforce in the communications field. Times are uncertain right now, and I really wanted to um, add stability to our family. I don't want to, um, you know, negatively impact the family by not working. Jennifer isn't alone. A recent study finds the majority of people being laid off this recession are men, approximately 82 percent. As a result, more full-time moms are doing what Jennifer is doing, prepping for a possible return to the workforce. A position where I can train, mentor, coach others uh, within an organization. Jennifer jumped full force into her job search and found herself at Fox Valley Technical College, which turned out to be an invaluable resource for her. Absolutely, that's where the opportunities are. The community has support out there. They want to help you. So it's finding those organizations, finding that network that can help you best prepare and provide those opportunities. The college has a lot of free resources for job seekers and you don't have to be a student. The student Employment Services, they offer um, resume writing, career searches, uh, whether it's online or some other periodical type hard copy material. The college has seen an increase in non-traditional job seekers. I do think the economy has a, has a hand in it. Um, one of the frequent places people turn when they're unemployed is to get retraining, re-education, or to find a new career path. Jennifer met with an advisor, took a resume writing class. I'm focusing on connecting uh, and networking. Your skill sets are the same, your abilities are the same. And your even joined the Job Seekers Network, a very focused support group. It's very specific training. How to, how to do a, a project management type career search by understanding what you want, understanding who, who provides that out in the world, and then helping them relate to those people and get in touch with those people. Jeff is proud of his wife and knows she'll be successful. She's such a good networker that I'm really not, I'm not worried about it. Once she finds a job, Jennifer won't be home as much, but she's excited about the future. It is a little sad because it's an end of an era. Um, I really feel like this is a turning point in my life. Um, I'm really excited about it because I feel like I have so much value to add. Shelley Botet, Channel 5 News, Appleton. Now, Jennifer has been job hunting for about six weeks, but hasn't found quite the right job she's looking for. If you'd like more information about employment services at Fox Valley Technical College, go to WFRB.com and click on Wisconsin Works Through the Recession.